Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and today's training is all about domain names and why you might wanna get one. So for instance, we know that if we run our sales through an event, we as the stylist can also earn hostess rewards. Well, let's use a domain to make it easier for people to shop with you and earn you more of those rewards. So that's what I do. I have a domain set up. I use godaddy.com. There's a lot of providers out there, but that's the one that I use. And my domain name that I purchased is sassygirlnails.com. And make sure you're aware you cannot use color and you cannot use street in any domain names, no website addresses. So make sure it's something that's maybe more to your brand, something that's fun about you. Whatever you want, you can have as long as it's not color street, color or street for that matter. Uh, so anyway, my domain name is sassygirlnails.com. And what I can do is I can go and log in to GoDaddy, which is the provider, and I can say I want that domain to forward to this website address. So I can change that as often as I want to, which is important because what happens when you have a nail bar? Well, when it's time to go and collect on your hostess rewards, you need to close that bar out and create a new one. And that means it's a new URL, that's a web address. So what I'm doing here is I'm connecting my domain to whatever is my current nail bar. And when that changes, I go back to my domain, give it the new URL, and now it's gonna always forward to the correct nail bar, earning me hostess rewards, but also it makes it easier for my shoppers because now I can promote sassygirlnails.com on my business cards, on my website, on my Instagram photos, on whatever I want. So I think getting a domain name is really an important tip for you guys to think about. A domain usually costs about $10 for the year, depending on what domain. Now be careful, there's some out there that I've seen for like a couple thousand dollars. Don't get that one. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly take you here at godaddy.com and show you how you would actually set up an account and create your own domain. So if you are just starting, the first thing I would suggest is to brainstorm what you want your brand name to be if you don't already have one. And just kind of come up with some options so that way when you come to this stage, you can go and check which ones are available because you probably wanna keep that consistent amongst all your social media platforms. I'm actually going to do a search for my name. And that's the domain I wanna to purchase today. Okay, so here's the results of my search. It's showing that my name is available as a .com. It'll be $12 to purchase it for the year, and I'm gonna choose Add to Cart. Now there are some privacy options available when purchasing a domain, but again, that's up to you. I'm just gonna stick with No Thanks for this. I don't need a website because Color Street is the website, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not gonna get an email address. So it's basically they're trying to give you little add-ons. I'm gonna click Continue to Cart. And then here it's saying, hey, do you already have an account with us? If you do, sign in, or you can create your own account. And then it's also showing my purchase. So it's bumped it up to showing it for two years versus just the one year, but you can change it back if you wanted to. So just make sure you're being aware of what, what's going on when you're ordering your domain. I'll change it back to a year. And then notice it says, have a promo code. You know what, I'm gonna check to see if there's a promo code for GoDaddy. All right, so I got a deal applied. Oh, that was a deal. All right, yay for promo codes. So I'm gonna actually get my domain for one year for a dollar. Taxes and fees and all that stuff, it's gonna be $1.17. I'm gonna go ahead and create an account. All right, so I'm just gonna put in my email address, username and password, and put in my pin code, and then I'll click that create account button, and then I'll check with you on the other side. All right, so now it's just your billing information, meaning how are you gonna pay for the domain that you're about to purchase? So I'll fill that out next. Okay, so it accepted my billing information. Now I'm gonna put in the credit card transaction information. Okay, so I went through the process of putting in my billing information and also my payment information. And now it's just verifying the transaction before I hit the complete. I'm gonna complete the purchase. Okay, so I've just purchased the domain, but now the question is how do I actually get it to work for me? So the first thing you need to make sure you have is the URL for the location you want your domain to take you. So for Color Street, for me, how I use them is to copy my current nail bar. So I'll just go into my virtual office, I'll go through my parties, find the nail bar URL, make a copy of that so that I can paste it into here. Okay, so I've copied my URL, the place that I want my domain to take me. So now let's find out where I put that. It's called the forwarding section. And, and again, depending on when you're watching this video, what you're seeing on your screen might be a little different than what options I have available now. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, and do you see over on the right where it says view domain settings? I'm gonna head over to that. 
And then here, here's my domain. It's set to automatically renew. So if you don't want it to do that, you might want to go back into your account settings and change that feature. But here I'm going to choose use my domain. Okay, so this is where a lot of people get tripped up because this is what I would do. I would think if you scroll down, you would see connect to an existing site. And if you click that, you would think that that would be where you could type in your site's address. But no, it's not here. So here's what I recommend you do. The quickest way to locate where to update your forward for your domain is to click the drop down arrow next to your account in the top right corner and choose my products. This will give you a listing of all the domains that you've purchased. And then if you hit DNS, that stands for domain naming system. If you click that, you'll get to your domain's information. I'm just gonna scroll down and there's the forwarding section. So right now it's saying your domain's not set up. I'm gonna tell it where to go. So I'm gonna hit add. And then I'm gonna paste in my destination. Where do I want my domain to actually take someone? So one thing to note is that with GoDaddy, they already have this forward to section filled out, the HTTP. So you wanna make sure you don't actually duplicate that in the rest of your address. So I'm just gonna to scroll to the beginning of this party and you can see here, I already have it here as well. So if that was replicated and I were to save this, my domain would not work. And notice it's also an HTTPS, which means for security. So I'm gonna change this to an S just to match it. And then I'm gonna remove that section from the address. So just leave the rest of the settings as is, hit save. And you've just changed your domain. So now later on, if I type in melissahowley.com, it should take me to that nail bar. But just remember again, when you close out of your nail bar, you need to create a new one and come back here and change the forward. So later on, all you would need to do is log in and go to your products. That will bring you to your list of domains. Click on DNS. and that will bring you to your forward section. But anyway, I just wanted to throw out to you guys that creating a domain for yourself can make it easier for you to run your business and also to earn the most on your hostess rewards. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also check out my playlist for other trainings in our stylist series.